here is an awesome display of Mexican bootleg Masters of the Universe and Thundercat figures. Some of these figures are production samples and some are unreleased um, figures that were never made. They come in different sizes, some are air blown, some are solid, they use vibrant colors. One of the things I noticed but it still makes it cool is uh, some of the paint schemes are kind of crazy and they're not very smooth, they're kind of rough but as you look at some of the airblown stuff, it's just amazing. I just love the sly. And uh, also, look at the different kinds of Skeletors and He-Mans and Men-at-Arms. There's just lots of stuff. There's some clear Thundercat figures. And uh, again, it was just what, what, what an awesome display to look at. And it was just a very cool thing to um, see. Right here, uh, I do want to point out that he made a custom figure of Hero which was the last figure or actually it was going to be the first figure in the next wave of Masters of the Universe if it continued past Power of Grayskull. <laughs> have awesome array of custom figures that really stood out and impressed me because what's so cool about these a number of these lines of figures actually came out like warrior bees uh, defenders of the planet galaxy warriors and what he's done is he's taken these figures and used the motu classic bodies and brought them into the masters of the universe line this is very impressive just he man with uh, his ponytail and just You wanted to make some skeletons for in your He-Man. Uh, yeah. Um, and some of that is what skeleton warriors. Yeah. So the base is a skeleton warrior figure, and then uh, the neck I made, and then cast that. The head I recast. Uh, um, that's and not. Is that a help of skeleton warrior head? Or? No, that's no. Um, Scareglow from the Master. That's what I thought. Yeah. I thought it was Scareglow's head. And so I modified it so it doesn't have a big crack in his forehead. What's cool here is you use different, talking about it, it was like, I was going, oh yeah, 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 and I'm going, I don't know what he said. It's got the same thing, little Lego rods that go into the uh, gauntlets there. Oh, there's Triclops hanging out at the 
move. Uh, yeah, look, looking forward to selling some more. Hopefully. The deck to uh, deck this out. Here is a hard copy prototype of one of the unfaceables. It would. I love it. Most of the uh, production samples of these probably are all, the, the face is all kind of dry rotted. And so uh, I bet you, I've seen some in the package and the face is all sucked up on and dry rotted. So this is really cool to see one. Just in case you all don't know, the Infaceables was a toy line in the 80s that uh, had a vinyl rubber face. And uh, anyway, when you pull the body apart, it would suck the vinyl face in and turn the um, action figure into a monster. And uh, a lot of those, that rubber is dry rotted. But anyway, this is another one of those really obscure, awesome toy lines from the 1980s. We're standing here at the Super 7 booth and we're going to go ahead and check out everything. This is their PowerCon exclusive. It's a Beast, a beast Man vinyl. The idea behind this was, you said, the idea behind this was, what if Beast Man came out in Japan first? Right, as a, as a vinyl piece instead of in America. DementedFeatures.com That sounds really <laughs> cool and scary at the same time. Yeah. We're having a great time. Thank you. Well, cool, you can actually go back and find out the episode. So this is MU is from Masters Universe 97. That's the episode number. So you can actually go back and find out what episode. It's episode 46. Oh, wow. Hi, how are you? There's Orko. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, hi from PowerCon, everybody. Grace Golf Woman. Right into the Comic Con. <laughs> hey, I'm here with Brian Dobson, and we're here at PowerCon, and we're having an awesome time. Great time, Tony. It's amazing. And remember, Victoria will be mine. <laughs> That one will be cool. I'm gonna just. <laughs> Hanging out here with Daniel Benedict at PowerCon. Hello, how are you guys? And I got him to sign. How are you? Oh, I'm okay. <laughs> I love this figure. This is awesome, and I wanted to get Daniel to sign it. It's quite enjoyable. Look at this. We're looking at Blizzlore and Blaze Lore. What's the name 
here, buddy. Oh, this is TC. Hey, TC, how are you doing? I'm here at PowerCon with Pixel Band. Yeah! yeah. It's comparison time! <laughs> Awesome. Thank you. Hey, man. No, thank you. It's been a great yeah, show. We had a right? great show. Awesome time.